Let's give it up for our next comic. I love this guy. He's funny as hell. Craig Golden, everyone. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? That's pretty okay. Hi, my name is Craig, and I get lightheaded when I masturbate. Could be because of the belt around my neck. I've been told that's not good for me, but you know what? When I die, I want to die like a celebrity. I've been stand-up now for a little while, and I used to write all of my jokes down on a notepad. Then I decided I wanted to give myself an air of mystery so I decided I was going to start writing my jokes down in my hand, which I feel like some of you may have picked up on, because I just told you. <laughs> I also have my favorite drink recipe written down in my other hand. If you can't read it, it's because it was written with my left hand. It says whiskey. If you don't know why I had to write down the recipe for whiskey on my hand, you're obviously not a whiskey drinker. <laughs> person is a whiskey drinker. <laughs> but I decided that uh, next time I'm going to step up my espionage game a little bit more. I'm going to hide my jokes from plain view. I'm going to hire a woman with large boobs and a low-cut shirt to sit in the front row, and I'm going to write all of my jokes down on her boobs. And that way, when I stare at her for a couple of seconds, you guys are just going to think I'm a pervert. But really, actually, I'm just entertaining you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm a lazy man, possibly the laziest in Traverse City, but puts me running for the laziest worldwide. I would actually rather take my pants off and throw them at a light switch and hope they catch it on the way down than to get up like an adult and turn off the light switch myself. I combine words and never to become more lazy, so I don't have to speak as much. One day when I was at the grocery store with my girlfriend, we were walking down the freezer aisle, I'm like, would you like anything? She says, yeah. I want some ice cream. Cool, what kind? She said, I want a Klondike bar. As per the parlance of our times, I asked her, what would you do for a Klondike bar? And she immediately responded, which by the way, is why I'm dating this woman. I would commit a blood sacrifice for this Klondike bar. <laughs> <clears throat> Me, ever the lazy bastard, said, honey, are you sure you commit a blacker vice for this Klondike bar? <laughs> So at that moment, I realized that I had become an accidental racist. <laughs> Sorry. So I had a day off two weeks ago. It's kind of a rare thing for me. So I decided to treat myself. No one was home, so I went to the local video store, and I read it, uh, Slutty Pizza Delivery Girls Want Your Hot Sausage, number one, two, three, and five. <laughs> for a friend. <laughs> I would have read a number four, but it wasn't there. It wasn't a box or anything. And I wanted to know why. So I went home, and after some uh, deep internet research, I found out that there is no number four, and that begs two questions. One, is it a quality control issue? Was number four so terrible that they just refused to release it? Or two, and more serious, does the porn industry fudge their numbers to make themselves seem more important? <laughs> and that's the second one that raises a valid concern to me that shakes my faith in the entire industry because if they're fudging their numbers they may be making up other things as well and I don't want to live in a world where my pizza delivery does not come with the chance of a blowjob <laughs> this thing is so distracting seriously <laughs> so my neighbors have chickens <laughs> Why do you laugh at that part? You're not supposed to laugh at that part. Turn it down. Wait a second. So my neighbors have chickens. They also have a fire pit. We're not in the middle of a uh, polar vortex. I was walking in my car one day, and a chicken started wandering too close to the fire, and the neighbor turned it away and said, no chicken. Not yet. <laughs> Anybody here a fan of the Isley Brothers? No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, Isley Brothers is like the poor man Marvin Gaye. It's what you put on, you know, you have the rose petal down and the candles lit and you can't find the Marvin Gaye greatest hits, you throw on the Isley Brothers. <laughs> Occasionally, uh, one of the brothers would put out a solo album. This time it was Donald Isley. And it's exactly what you'd expect. It's, I'm gonna make love you till break down. <laughs> Every song, except one. <laughs> There was one song, I shit you not, it, I'm gonna quote this verbatim, I'm not gonna sing it because I want you to know how serious I am. 
<laughs> lyrics to the chorus were, I'm going to make love to your soul. <laughs> I'm sorry, Donald Lexi, that's not sexy, that's goddamn terrifying. <laughs> Not only has Donald Isley located the soul in thousands of years of theological debate, by the way, but he also found out that it has an orifice. He is pretty certain he's going to fuck it. <laughs> Unless he's gay. I'm not judging. I'm just saying that changes the game a little bit. Your soul may have a dick. <laughs> Speaking of polar vortex, the United States is currently in its coldest recorded winter in 20 years. Also this year, Disney put on a movie called Frozen. <laughs> Fantastic marketing, Disney, but tone it down a bit. <laughs> and uh, we are recording this, so just in case uh, anybody at Disney sees this, I do have the title for your next movie, Titties. <laughs> Think about it. Watching a uh, documentary on Alaska the other day. And at the end, after the credits, some big old patriotic letters along with a flag that said, Made in America. No shit. <laughs> the United States government. That's the joke. <laughs> so I never realized how similar the lock screen sound and the camera shutter sound are on an iPhone until I heard one of those two coming from a stall next to me in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to put money down, I'd say it's the one used to take pictures of your dick. Because that's what I was doing. <laughs> but at least I have the common decency to put it on silent. <laughs> Savages. <laughs> There's, there's never been anything in my life that has ever kept me awake more nights than the one time I was doing a do, and I heard from the stall next to me, some guy said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck could possibly be worse than what is already coming out of your butt? <laughs> Seriously. I wiped, I walked out, I went home, I hid under my covers for three straight days for fear of whatever that is. The vision was not based on just movement. <laughs> I got sick the other week. First time in a long time. Don't, 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 don't woo that, don't woo that. Find you. That guy. Let's see you, find you. So I lost my voice for about a week or so. I couldn't really talk. My own mode of communication was hand gestures, hip thrusts, and whispering. <laughs> so whenever I whispered to someone, I don't know if it's polite or not, but they whispered back, which completely threw me off. I thought that I was in a library the entire time and nobody told me. <laughs> then I heard other people around me not engaged in conversation that were speaking in a normal voice, and that got me angry. Because it's quiet time. And I just walked up to them and started silently screaming, Shut your mouth, motherfuckers! It's time to read! <laughs> it's just about everything I have prepared for you people today. Thank you for coming out and joining us. Um,